Hagamos caminos de alegrías y de colores Hagamos caminos de amistad y de ilusiones Caminante no hay camino, se hace camino al andar This poem by Antonio Machado The inspiration for the title of our Agamos Caminos reading and literature series suggests that we are each authors of our own lives, which we create day to day with our own actions. Based upon the premise that we each create our own lives, the Agamos Caminos series involves children in active participation in the learning process. Through each of the stages of the creative reading approach, Children are led to interact with what they read, to personalize it, to apply it to their own reality, and in the final creative phase, ask, how can I use what I've read to impact upon my life, to improve it? I am Alma Flor Ada, author of the Agamos Caminos series. Let's look at how Agamos Caminos develops reading as a tool for academic success. What makes a successful reading program? Why do some children enjoy reading and become successful readers? First, a good reading program promotes the joy of reading. To do this, the materials must be beautiful, intriguing, and exciting. Hagamos Caminos is a children's literature series as well as a reading program. It offers a rich variety of literary genres, legends, fables, and stories, based both on reality and fantasy, poetry, plays, oral folklore, riddles and rhymes from all the Hispanic world. Each page is beautifully illustrated by one of the best illustrators of children's books, Ulises Wenzel. Music is also an integral part of our program with traditional folk songs and original rhythms of well-known performer Suni Paz. De colores, de colores se visten los campos en la primavera. De colores, de colores son los pajaritos que vienen de afuera. el arco iris que vemos brillar y por uh -huh. adentro arre arre mi burrita arre arre corre corre y en el perro Corre, arre, arre, mi burrita, arre, arre, mi burrita, arre, arre, corre, corre, viene el perro, corre, corre, arre, arre, mi burrita. The second characteristic of a successful reading program is that the reading have a purpose, a value, here and now for the children. By combining motivational selections and the creative reading method through which readers engage in dialogue about the text, Agamos Caminos ensures that reading becomes a process to develop self-esteem, critical thinking skills, and creative solution to life's problems. The third characteristic is that the method will produce success rather than failure. Refined and tested over a long period, the creative reading method combines the best of the phonetic approach and the sight reading approach, emphasizing the development of oral language skills. Taking great care to introduce natural language in meaningful context, and encourage language experience reading, Agamos Caminos, at the same time, maintains careful pacing and constant reinforcement of skills and vocabulary throughout the six books of the series. 
Let's see how these features and the creative reading methodology come to life in an actual classroom where children read and interact with the story Yo No from Volamos. This planning chart shows how each component for each level of the series integrates with and complements the other components for the preparation, presentation, reinforcement, evaluation, and enrichment of every lesson. Before beginning, the teacher administers the placement test, available in the teacher's resource book binder for every level of Agamos Caminos. The easy to administer and score test will allow teachers to place children in the appropriate book of the series. Partimos, andamos, corremos, volamos, navegamos, or exploramos. Once the children have been grouped by book, lesson planning begins. The teacher's guides for each level of the program are helpful for this, offering a complete summary of the teaching objectives for each lesson and a step-by-step -step description of the phases of the creative reading method through which each lesson progresses. As Jan Mayer interacts with her class using Bolamos, I will describe the development of a lesson for you. Children first hear the story by listening to the cassette or their teacher read it aloud. A way to introduce the story is to open the book and let the children talk about the illustration, guessing what the story may be about. Here the teacher is encouraging the children to talk about personal experiences that will facilitate their understanding of the story. Hoy niños vamos a leer un cuento muy simpático en Volamos que se trata de una gallina y sus pollitos y otras aves que viven en un rancho o el corral. ¿Quién sabe un animal, un ave que vive también en el rancho? Eh, ¿Vanessa? Un pato. Un pato, sí, es un ave que vive en el rancho. A variety of possibilities exist for reading this story. The students can read the story aloud, individually or in groups. The teacher can assign characters or different sections of the story to different students to read. It is important to remember that reading aloud, when done well with expression and fluency, is an art, a valuable skill, often useful in leadership positions. Johan, ¿puedes leer la primera? Esta es la gallinita dorada. Of course, reading silently is also an essential skill, and so you will want to encourage this as well. Vamos a leerlo en voz alto. La gallinita dorada. La gallinita dorada. Dorada. ¿Quién tiene dorada? Gallinita dorada. Muy bien. Salió de... Casa. Casa. ¿Quién tiene casa? Emilia tiene casa. Muy bien. Salió de casa con sus pollitos. Pollitos. ¿Dónde están los pollitos? Vio una semilla. ¿Quién tiene semilla? ¿Quién tiene semilla? Oh, muy bien. The dialogue that follows the reading of this story is an essential element of the Agamos Caminos methodology.